I said the slogan, who's your daddy? Because I figured, all right, let's be a little bold and put it out there. All right, who's your daddy? Come on inside, let me show you the truck. Can be either amazing, like you finally found your long lost brother, uh, you know, uh, or it can be devastating. You know, you found out your wife cheated on you, or this is a test whose outcome uh, affects your identity. It's more than a business transaction. I mean, you're dealing with um, you're dealing with people's lives. I had a job where I had 400 staff. I had, um, you know, a fleet of trucks. We had 65 vehicles, 20 trucks. It was an amazing job. I cursed out my boss one day, found myself out on the street with a few dollars in my pocket, bought an RV. I can't describe it, but everything changed for me when I went out on my own. That's really when I took hold of my own life. You guys want to find out of your sisters? No. <laughs> <laughs> we might be losing You know. <laughs> In a sense, like it's a DNA test, so it's a very scientific uh, process. Um, but yet it's so simple. I mean, it's just a swab of the cheek and there's, you know, everybody has 23 chromosomes. Every chromosome has two alleles and one of them is gonna come from the father and one is gonna come from the mother. So if I can match up on every single one of them, save for the rare case of uh, a mutation, every chromosome should ha match an allele. And if one is, doesn't match, it's not your kid. You see it, DNA testing. Yeah, you need a test? I mean, I'm good right now. It's just sure? super interesting, yeah. <laughs> How much does that yeah. cost? Oh, about $400. Okay. Yeah. What, what, you say your boy, you mean a child or your son, friend? My son, yeah. Your son, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta come in. You gotta call me and we'll set up a time and I'll come out. You know what it is? Tell me. I don't care about it. Is that the other dude's having mental issues? The other potential father. Yeah, so we don't know. So just in case. So if, if it is, we, we don't want the same things to happen to him. So we want to take care of issues now. Medically. Medically. Other yeah. than that, it's mine. I don't care. You know, it wouldn't care. affect you either way? Really? I wanna just want to ensure he, I get the proper help for him before he gets older and we don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, quite often we get crazy situations like, for example, we had uh, a, a gay couple who decided to have a kid and did like what they call like, uh, you know, shook up the sperm in a bottle and this way they wouldn't know who's the real father because they didn't care and then they impregnated a woman with that sperm artificially and had the kid. Well then, you know, a few years later they break up and now it becomes an issue, like, who's really the father? That's a pretty dramatic situation for people when they actually have to find out. Not to mention the impact on the kid, which is the most important. I could say for sure, we're testing people from every walk of life. Rich people, poor people. I did a guy in a, in a, in a townhouse, the guy owned the whole townhouse on the Upper East Side, probably $10 million house. I mean, DNA test is not a, a ethnic issue, it's not a cultural issue, it's a human issue. It's every neighborhood, that's why the truck has wheels. I go to every neighborhood in New York City. People come to me at vulnerable moments in, in their lives. Just being, just listening, you know, can make a huge difference. You know, it's a life-changing moment. You remember that person that was there, and you remember, were they judgmental? Were they kind? Were they caring? Did they kind of empathize with you? I take that stuff very seriously. That's why I love what I do.